A team of UN experts says the Rwandan military is providing support for rebels in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where an armed rebellion that erupted in April threatens to destabilize the region. On Monday, the Rwandan foreign ministry denied supporting the rebels. For more, we're joined by Claude Gadabuke, executive director of the African Great Lakes Action Coalition in the U.S. He's also a survivor of the 1994 Rwanda genocide. Welcome to FSRN. Thank you. Recently, the United Nations released an interim report of the group of experts on the DRC. What were the key findings? Uh, The key findings in this report are that um, the biggest one is that high-ranking Rwandan military officials, including the Rwandan Minister of Defense, James Kabarebe, and the uh, Rwandan Uh, military chief of staff Charles Kayonga and uh, President Kagame's uh, advisor, General Jack Nziza, are providing support and logistics and weapons and men to uh, destabilize the Congo. The other key findings are that the rebellion, in spite of all of the denials, has um, indicted war criminal Basco Naganda, General Basco Naganda, who is wanted by the International Criminal Court for Crimes Against Humanity in the Congo as the leader of that uh, movement, uh, the M23, uh, the rebel group. The other key finding is that the Rwandan military is recycling the FDLR. Uh, these are Hutu forces, uh, Hutu rebellion operating in the Congo that's opposed to the Rwandan government um, that um, the Rwanda has used over and over as an excuse to go into the Congo. Today, the report has found that uh, the Rwandan government is working with former FDLR combatants to bring them back to fight alongside this new rebellion that the Rwandan military is sponsoring. You mentioned some of the key findings of the report, and it's not just this U.N. report. Human Rights Watch also found that Rwandan army officers provided weapons, ammunition, and an estimated 200 to 300 recruits to support uh, the rebel group led by uh, the leader you mentioned, Bosco Netaganda, head of the so-called M23 movement. Why would Rwanda get involved in the Congo? What's their interest in destabilizing the country? There is a number of things. Um, the reason for uh, Rwanda's involvement in the Congo, uh, my analysis is that two reasons. One is earlier this year, the ICC made an announcement that they would go very hard after Basco Naganda and have him arrested to face trial for crimes against humanity and, and war crimes that he committed in the Congo. You know, the implications would be that if taken to court, he would uh, put out information that would implicate the Rwandan military in the Congo um, and the massacres committed in the Congo, documented by multiple reports over the last 15 years. The second reason is economic. Um, Mining and uh, natural resources out of uh, the Congo have been a major source of income for Rwanda. And we should also note that uh, at least some of these materials, these minerals that come from the region, uh, their destination is set for uh, parts in Europe and also the United States. Uh, That's correct. Uh, There are various mining companies um, that operate in the Congo that are U.S.-based and um, Europe-based, worth noting Anglo Gold, Ashanti, and Benro. We also just ask consumers profit uh, from using uh, minerals coming out of the Congo, uh, you know, using our uh, big screen TVs, our laptops, and uh, cell phones are powered with uh, minerals coming out of the Congo. What is the U.S. government's role in this conflict, and how does its relationship with Rwanda fit into this? So it's the U.S. role is, one, as an aid provider, basically they're providing resources to uh, war criminals who, if given more resources, will commit more crimes, Um, military training to uh, Rwandan forces, not holding them accountable for the crimes in the Congo by withholding aid until it is shown and proven that Rwanda is no longer active 
actively or even passively destabilizing the Congo and also um, blocking this report from coming out and uh, um, holding, using it to hold uh, Rwanda accountable. Cloud Gadabuke is executive director of the African Great Lakes Action Coalition. He joined us to discuss findings from the UN this week that show Rwandan military involvement in the fighting in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Cloud Gadabuke, thank you for joining us. Thank you.